One of my favorite studios located in Charlotte, North Carolina is Gat 3. Uh, first time coming out, I, I think I was hired for some overdubs. And um, most places that you go to, most places I've been in, and have a hard time getting the sound of your instrument. And so I, I had my old guitar. And Glenn, talented engineer, first time we put a mic up, I like blown away at the, uh, at the tone. I think that might have been back in 99, I think and um, it kept coming back to this studio, doing some overdubs and stuff for other people. Now, I met Kenny almost 12 years ago, and he would come in the studio and play on various projects. We'd hire him, and what a great guy, what a great musician, and his tone, just unreal. And uh, you know, he called me one day and said, we're gonna do a band record, and I'd love for, for you to do it. I'd love for you guys to help us out with it. So. We started a, a great record we did 10 years ago called House Down the Block. And uh, since then, we've worked on a lot of projects together. And I think I've done four albums here at the studio. And every time we kicked around this idea of, uh, hey, let's do a guitar record. Let's do a guitar record. And every time we do a, a band record, we'd kind of kick around the idea. And so I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try to do that. And um, really got serious about it about a year ago. Kenny and I started talking about his guitar solo record. and man, what fun that would be and what a great time we could have doing it. And you know, his first record, solo record, Studebaker, kind of kind of is a cult classic now. And, you know, a lot of guys really listen to that record and try to learn from it and study it and play it. And he really wanted to do a unique and different kind of follow-up to that. Since uh, Studebaker, I've been thinking about who do I get, you know, to, to uh, play on the new record. And uh, I got to think, I thought, man, it... Um, some of the magic of Studebaker was just a small setting, and I had uh, Adam Steffi and Barry Bales, which was, I feel, a big part of that record. I had known Kenny for probably a, a few years prior to working on Studebaker, just seeing him out, you know, in different situations at festivals and concerts and things, and so got to know him and knew what a monster player he was, you know, and uh, and and got to know him as a as a man, you know, and, and what a good guy he is. And uh, so when he asked asked me to come up and play on Studebaker, I was flattered, you know, to be able to go up there and do that. And that record, I've had so many people ask about that record, you know. I remember the first time I saw him was on the old uh, Nashville Now TV show on the Nashville Network years ago when he first got with Lonesome River Band. And I, I didn't know of him and just knew they had a new guy. And they came on and did the first song, and I was like, Wow, that that guy's really good. They've really brought it up a few notches adding him. It's fun to see all the young guitar players and pickers and musicians after that record came out, you know, everybody's learning tunes off that record and stuff and so so Kenny's Kenny's become you know quite a, a legend at a young age you know and, and well well deserved you know I never played any music with those guys up until that until that point and I called those guys for that session and uh, since then we got to be really good friends and uh, I, was, I, I felt um, on this record I wanted to go back and revisit that yeah he just uh you know, that's kind of the way he is, is real low key. Just, hey, I'm gonna cut another record. Uh, would you help me out? Yeah, I jumped at the chance. This record was, uh, it's again, a, an honor to get the call to come in and play on this thing. You know, the new record, the tunes are, he's, you know, got some classic tunes and he's got some original things he's gonna be doing. I, it's just a special thing when you go into to recording something like that and the players they add to it. And, the, and it's part of their personality. We're plowing new ground with the new instrumentals and um, that's what's special, I think, is when you can um, give a musician like Adam and Barry a, a new song like that. And um, uh, I know the melody but I don't know what the picture is. We start out with a blank canvas, and that's the magic of, of, the, uh, of, of what happened this week. 
he can take a traditional tune that's been done many, many times, but he can take it and, and put a twist on it. You know, it's like it's it's him. You know, it's you know it's Kenny, and it's it's really, really good. I had these songs that some of the songs I've written, you know, probably a couple years, and uh, um, you really don't know what's going to happen until that point, and uh, they just turned out great, and uh, uh, there's some magic on there. Kenny just didn't want to do a record out of, on a whim. He really wanted to think about what he wanted to do next and what he had to say musically and who he is. It's a real special record for me, you know. It's the first record on our GAT3 Records label. Um, and what a record to start out with. He's really put a lot of thought into the material. He's been writing a lot. He's been preparing a lot. He's a very prepared guy when he comes in the studio. He's thorough. He's, really strives for excellence and that's exciting for me too. Um, I'm excited about where this record's going to go and what this record's going to do. I'm excited for the people that are going to hear it. People are really going to dig it when they get a hold of it, just like they did Studebaker. This record I think is going to be a really awesome project. I think it's going to it's going to be around for a long time. I think people are going to be listening to it for a long time. They're going to be studying it. It's, it's a work of art and uh, all thanks to Kenny and, and brilliance behind what he does. I couldn't be more excited about about the album just because of the um, uh, the tone and the importance of uh, we're on the same page of hey let's make the best record but the best sounding record that we can and I feel like we captured that uh, this week um, more than ever I think. What an exciting time and what an exciting record. I think it's gonna it's gonna blow some people away. I mean it's really gonna be something special. I'm just blessed to be a part of it and for it to be on our label and for it to to go out there and let the people hear, let them judge for themselves. Kenny's, Kenny's incredible and this record just really shows that. Mm -hmm.